baptizing four people today. So we have Ryan will be baptized, and Owen and Jackson, and also Jasmina today. And we know from Scripture, of course, that baptism is important, even essential for us in following Christ. And so I want to read for us from Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, these words from the Lord Jesus. He says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. So Jesus says, go and make disciples. He says, here's how you do it. The lifelong part is going to be learning to obey all my commands, he says. But the first step, the first part is a one-time thing of being baptized. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that's what we're going to be doing today, baptizing uh, four people. So Ryan is going to be our first baptism, and I'll invite him to come up here in just a moment. But we've, I, well, I at least, I think I speak for all of us, we've appreciated getting to know Ryan over the past couple of years, as he showed up first in Dez's world, and then through Dez into our world. And Ryan, if you've gotten to know him, you may know a little bit of his story, that he has professed faith in Christ and followed Christ for many years. Uh, prior to coming to our church with Dez, uh, Ryan was a part of a church over in Sunnyside, the CRC church there, which is a wonderful church, and we partner with them at different times in various ways. Um, that church has a little different view of baptism than we do. And so what that means is that Ryan was baptized as a baby over there, and then grew up professing faith in Christ. And so even though we don't baptize babies in our church without getting too deep into the weeds, uh, we do understand and appreciate why some churches do baptism in that way. Uh, but we baptize here a uh, person as part of the profession of faith in Christ, what we call believer's baptism. And we require believer's baptism for membership. And so today as part of crossing over to our church uh, with Des and being part of our church, uh, Ryan is being baptized as a believer as part of his profession of faith in Christ and then on his way to being a member hopefully very soon after. So I'm grateful to Ryan for his willingness uh, to be baptized today as part of his profession of faith in Christ. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand as a congregation. We're going to sing a verse of Amazing Grace as we do. Ryan's going to come up, get himself in the water, and then we'll sit after we this verse and we'll and we'll baptize Ryan. So let's stand and sing. salvation? Yes. And you're committed to following him as a disciple? Yes. And as a, as a response to your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and on the basis of your commitment to follow him as a disciple, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
And Lord, we just uh, uh, pray that as he uh, goes forward uh, with uh, Dez and their new family, that uh, you would continue to guide him and to strengthen him. And uh, as uh, he becomes a father soon, to, to lead his family in accordance with your word, Lord. We thank you for his commitment this morning, and we pray that as a church that we would affirm our commitment to Ryan and Dez and, and their family uh, to come around them and to love them and to walk with them in discipleship, Lord. We thank you. We praise you for these things in this happy occasion this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. And we'll stand another verse of amazing grace and then call on you. I've appreciated them. They reached out a little while ago and wanted to be baptized. And if you've gotten to know Owen and Jackson, one thing that I love about them is they're not afraid to ask questions. Lots of questions. And before I can hardly answer one, the next two have already uh, come out. And they love to ask the questions that stump the pastor, too. Why this? Why that? And do I always have an answer? No. no not always. Okay, but I love their hearts. And they... Uh, they profess faith in Christ, and they would like to be baptized today on that basis. So we're very excited to be able to baptize them. So, Owen, do you profess Jesus to be Lord and trust in him for your salvation? Yes. And you are committed to following him as a disciple? Yes. On the basis of your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you're committed to follow him as a disciple, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, In the name of the Holy Spirit. All right. <laughs> Everett's going to lead us in prayer for Owen and for his faith in Christ. All right, let's pray. Father, I thank you uh, for Owen. We thank you for the work that you have done in his heart. We thank you. Uh, for using the hard things that he's had to go through this last year and a half to grow him, to strengthen him. And Lord, I pray that you would grow him into a mighty man who loves you, who serves you well, and who brings you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're going to stand, and Jackson will come to his place. Jackson for his faith in Christ. And so Jackson, do you profess Jesus to be Lord and trust in him for your salvation? Yes. And you're committed to following him as a disciple? Yes. On the basis of your declaration that Jesus is Lord and you're committed to follow him as a disciple, I baptize in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, okay. and in the Holy Spirit. physically and we thank you for the work that you have done uh, in him spiritually thank you for the example that he is uh, to me and our, and our family how much I learned 
and, uh, and grow because of, of him and his example. Lord, uh, continue to grow him and strengthen him in Christ. I pray that he you know, would never quit asking questions. He would always continue uh, to learn and grow and, and, and to ask and just use him, uh, use him for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll stand and sing in just a minute. And so we got to talk a little bit about the gospel, about her faith in Christ, and about her desire to be baptized. And so what a joy uh, to have Jasmina uh, be baptized today. So Jasmina, do you profess Jesus to be Lord and trust him for your salvation? Yes. And are you committed to following him as a disciple? Yes. And Jasmina, on the basis of your declaration that Jesus is Lord and your commitment to follow him as a disciple, baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, In the name of the Holy Spirit. And Jasmine has asked Susie if she would pray for her. Dear Lord, I want to thank you today for Jasmine and for her life and for her spirit and for her desire to follow you. I ask as she takes this step in her faith that you'll be with her, give her strength and wisdom to guide her on her path with her family as they strive to point her towards you and please give us wisdom as a body to encourage and strengthen her along the way. We love you and are so grateful for your gift on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We'll stand for our last verse or the next song. Whatever we're standing for. Yeah. <laughs> 